this class we work out two problems in per unit representation for the system shown in figure draw the reactance diagram the system consists of eight components three generators g1 g2 g3 three transformers t1 t2 t3 and two transmission lines ab and bc total is eight one is generator its rating is 25 MeA, 6.6 kV, reactance is 0.2 per unit. The second is a transformer, rating is 30 MeA, 6.6 bar 115 kV, this side is delta connected, this side is star connected, reactance is 0.1 per unit. The third is a transmission line, its reactance is J132 ohms, that is AB. Fourth is the transmission line BC, its reactance is J110 ohms. Fifth is a transformer, three single phase transformers. So 3 into 10, that is equal to 1030 MBA. Voltage is 6.9 bar 69 kV. This is star connector, this is star connector. In star connection, line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. Therefore 6.9 into root 3, that is equal to 12 kV. 69 into root 3, that is equal to 191.5, almost 120 kV. Okay. 60 is the generator, rating is 30 MeA, 13.2 kV. Per unit reactance is 0.1 by per unit. 70 is the transformer, rating is 15 MeA, 6.6 bar 115 kV. This is delta connector, this side is star connector, reactance is 0.1 per unit. 8th is the generator, rating is 15 MeA, 6.6 kV, per unit reactance is 0.15. You see the rating of each component. This is 25 MeA, this is 30 MeA, this is 30 MeA, 10 into 3, 30 MeA, this is 30 MeA, this is 15 MeA, this is 15 MeA, highest value is 30, I choose base MeA is equal to 30. Or SB2 is equal to 30. SB2 is represent new value or chosen value. SB1 is a old value or a given value. First step, I have to choose a base MA 30. Base KV is equal to 6.6 or VB2. Generator 1 per unit reactance is, is given per unit reactance value into, that is given is 0.2 into VB1 by VB2. VB1 is 6.6, VB2 is 6.6. VB1 is a given value, VB2 is a chosen value. 6.6 by 6.6 the whole square into ESB2, SB2 is 30, ESB1 given value 25. So that is equal to 0 0.24 per unit. This is 0.24 per unit. That is the reactance of the generator 1. The second is tran transformer. The given reactance is 0.1. VB1 by VB2, 6.6 by 6.6 the whole square into SB2, 30. Given value is 30. 30 by 30. That is equal to 0.1 per unit. This is 0.1 per unit. The third is a transmission line. So I have to find what is the high voltage KV base. High voltage KV base is equal to low voltage KV base that is 6.6 .6, into HT by LT 115 by 6.6 .6. 6 .6 into 115 by 6.6 .6, that is equal to 115 KV. So up to A to C the value is 115 KV. This side I have to find, that is low voltage side of the transformer. Low voltage KV base is equal to high voltage KV base 115 into LT by HT 12 by 120, that is equal to 11.5 KV. Here three VB2s are there, one is 6.6, .6, another is 115 KV, another is 11.5 KV. We have to find the reactants according to the base values. The transmission per unit reactants I have to find. 
I can easily calculate the base impedance. Once I know the base impedance, I can easily calculate the per unit impedance. Per unit impedance is actual by base. Actually is given. So base impedance is equal to KV base square divided by SB. 115 square divided by 30. That is equal to 440.83 ohms. That is the base impedance. The given value is 132 ohms. Therefore, transmission lines AB per unit impedance is equal to 132 actual by base 132 by 440.83 that is equal to 0.3 per unit this is 0.3 per unit third element fourth component again this is BC so this uh, reactance actual value is J 110 110 divided by 440.83 that is equal to 0.25 per unit this is 0.25 per unit this is 4 this 4 is 0.25 per unit the next is three single phase transformers that is 3 into 10, that is equal to 30. Therefore, the fifth component, the reactance value is given 0.1. 120 by 115 the whole square, VB1 by VB2 the whole square. VB1 is equal to 120, VB2 is equal to 115, 120 by 115 the whole square into SB2 30 by SB1, 3 into 10, that is 30, that is equal to 0 0.11 per unit, this is 0 0.11 per unit. 6 is a generator, the given value is 0 0.15, 0 0.15 into VB1 by VB2, VB1 is 13 by 10, VB2 is equal to 11.5, 11 into 10, that is equal to 1125, the whole square into SB2, 30 by SB130 that is equal to 0 0.2 per unit. The seventh is the transformer. Given value is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 into VB1 by VB2. VB1 is 6.6. .6. VB2 is equal to 6.6 .6, the whole square into SB2 30 by SB1 15. 30 by 15 that is equal to 0 0.2 per unit. This is 0 0.2 per unit. This value. Eight is the generator. So 0.15 into V1 by VB2, 6.6 .6 by 6.6 .6 the whole square into 30 SB2, SB1 is equal to 50, that is equal to 0.3 per unit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the reactance diagram. Problem number 2. For the system shown in figure, draw the reactance diagram. The system consists of 12 components. 3 generators G1, G2, G3. 6 transformers T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6. 3 transmission lines AB1, CD2, EF3. The rating of generator 1 is 50 MBA, 13.8 kV, reactance is 0.15 per unit. Transformer T1 and T2, 45 MBA, 11 kV bar 110 kV, reactance is 0.1 per unit. Transformer 3 and 4, 25 MBA, 11 kV per 110 kV, reactance is 0 0.1 per unit. Generator 2, rating is 40 MBA, 13.8 kV, reactance is 0 0.2 per unit. Transformer T5, T6, rating is 40 MBA, 11 kV per 110 kV, Reactance is 0 0.1 per unit. The last is generator. Rating is 30 MBA, 13.8 kV. Reactance is 0 0.25 per unit. Here the transmission voltage is 110. Here also 110. Here also 110. This is 11. This is 110. Here also 11, 110. First step I have to choose the base MBA, base KV. Here the largest value is 50. 
therefore I choose base MBA is equal to 50. Base KV is equal to 110. 110 is the high voltage side of the transformer. Once I choose the high voltage side, I have to find the base KV on LT side of each transformers. That is very important. So low voltage KV base is equal to high voltage KV base. That is 110. That is the chosen value. 110 into LT by HT. 11 by 110. That is equal to 11 KV. Here this is 11 KV. Here also 11 KV. Here also 11 KV. Okay. That is the low voltage side. Here this is 11, this is 110, 11, this is 110. That's why uh, all the values are same. If it is different, naturally the value will be different. Generator 1 reactance is equal to, that is the per unit reactance is equal to, per unit reactance, given per unit reactance value, that is 0.15 into VB1 by VB2. VB1 is the given value. VB2 is the chosen, that is uh, base value, new base value. Therefore, 0 0.15 into 13.8 divided by 11, the whole square into SB2. SB2 is a chosen value, that is 50, divided by given value 50, that is equal to J.24. This is J.24. This is generator 1. Second, Per unit reactance of generator 2 is equal to given per unit reactance 0.2 into 13.8 divided by 11 the whole square into 50 by 40 that is equal to J.39. So this is J.39. The third generator given value is 0.25 per unit reactance into VB1 by VB2 the whole square. VB1 is equal to 13.8 by 11 the whole square into SB2 that is 50 by 30 that is equal to J.66. This is J.66. The second I have to find what is the per unit reactance of transformer 1 and 2. Here the both rating is same. Therefore, the value will be same. That is equal to 0.1. This is the reactance value is given 0.1 into primary side 11. 11 by 11 the whole square into SB2 50 by 45. That is equal to J.1. So, this side this is J.1. This is J.1. Second step I have to find what is the per unit reactance of T3 and T4? Same way, this is 0.1 into 11 by 11, the whole square into given value, that is 50 by this value, that is the base value divided by SB2 by SB1, that is equal to 50 by 25, that is equal to J.2. This is J.2. This transformer also J.2. Right? Next is, I have to find the per unit reactance of the transformer T5 and T6. A T5 and T6, the given value is 0.1 into 11 by 11, the whole square into 50, 50 by 40, that is equal to J.125. This is J.125, this is J.125. The next is, I have to find what is the per unit reactance of the transmission line. I know the base KV, base KV is 110, base MBA is equal to 50, base impedance is equal to KV B square divided by SB. So 110 square divided by 50, that is equal to 242 ohms. Once I know the base impedance, I can easily calculate the per unit reactance, that is actual by base. Actual is given 50 by 242, that is equal to J.5. 207. This is J.207. Here the transmission line CD and EF. Value is J25. Therefore, this value and this value is same. Therefore, transmission per unit reactance of the transmission line CD and EF is equal to 
given value is 25 by 242 that is equal to j point 103 per unit so that is j point 103 per unit here also j point 103 per unit with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening